like spitting. It's ungraveling at the moment. Uh, well, here we are, grand finals. West versus Kaina. Kaina on the winner's side. West opening up with the Ragnar after playing Boots the entire day. And uh -huh. Kaina having so much success on Roman Reigns here on the Terros. We're going into game number one, and we're going to see how West's guitar shape up compared to his boots that we've been watching all throughout the day. Right now, it's looking like all Kaina. Kaina is just controlling the ground. West not able to get anything significant. Wants to go all the way out there with that ground pound. Wasn't able to get it, though. Um, Kaina is aggressive. Kaina is fast. And West, whipping that NSYNC, does not get punished for it, though. Immediate pickup hammer neutral light. Let's see if he gets the stop there on the side of the stage here. West dashes through, gets hit by that stop cider after whiffing the down light. And Axe can just do a number of things here. West didn't touch the ground. Okay, okay. manages to make it back. I thought he didn't. Maybe he did. That could have been a bad call. But how me. do you land against an axe when you have no weapon in hand? And the answer is not easily, well, perhaps not at he all. literally did yep. it. Iframes help. There you go, Appa. Nice job. Brought him back to the stage. Let's Don't go into the sky again, though, Wes. <laughs> yeah, that's not the place that you want to be. Uh, right now, though, kind of has been controlling the game. Wes has not had a lot of presence up until now, right? Able to get that neutral light with the axe, whiffing it that time, and kind of the same thing is happening with when we, said, when we saw Kaina up against Pally, where Kaina is getting a hit. It's always leading into another two or three hits. Yeah, meanwhile, Wes gets one, maybe, at a time. Uh, weapon thrown to pick up side light, dodges forward there. Sarah from Wes comes through. Can he finish off the stock? Ground pound would be huge. Gravity cancel and light. Love that. Uh, catches kind of just everything on Demon Island when I think about it. Uh, besides dodge in place or dodge straight up. Really mm -hmm. great option coming up from, uh, from Wes. Kind of getting that stomp. Able to just chase dodge in. So aggressive. Wes wants to go through the turtle down in that situation, right? One of the downer. Didn't find it. And now just dashing in, dashing out. Looking for the whiff from Kaina. And again, okay. Follow-ups, damage, that's what I want to see. Yeah, nice job with the pivot and airs. Ooh, and Wes's movement's actually looking pretty good tier two. Kinda falls in with the scoop, does get the down air, weapon throws, oh, switches back so to the axe. Oh, so efficient, we saw these, like, all those hitboxes. The triple nair on axe on the on the landing there, I thought was gonna come out again, but instead he just goes for a, a horizontal edge guard here, and the end light will finish the seal, or finish the, the deal there. Gets him off the left side of the stage. That is so rough when you have like another weapon available to you, and Kinda is able to toss one weapon, pick that one up, toss that, and then we grab it. It is just so much space that Wes cannot actually contest. Yeah, I think Kinda's doing it better than anybody we've seen do it so far. He's had a lot of these like vertical situations where he finds a weapon spawn and he actually hovers around it, waits till he gets a certain amount of hits, expends a certain amount using of his it opponent's like a wall, jumps. Using and, it like a little tool to pull out later. And then he'll do a delayed pickup to where it gets really hard to get through both the active weapon throw oh. and the attack. That recovery was so good. Nice little side light, though, as just to get off me tool there. It, okay, just goes through the neutral light. And now Axe on hand yet again, kind of is looking unstoppable. Side light. Nice Nair. Doesn't get anything after that. Sidelight Nair from Wes could get the recovery here. Forces all the jumps. Both players just kind of baiting each other to do something okay. first. And, you know, that wasn't the first thing that I thought kind of would punish an N-Sig with, but the down sig range was apparently enormous. I, I think Wes technically jumped into that. But uh, great two-stock coming up from Kaina here. I wonder if Wes will stay on the Ragnar going into games. Two and three. I mean, when it came to like the axe versus axe, the same exact thing that happened when it was side, uh, in one of his finals, excuse me. Yep. It, it, it. Wes uh, has not been able to get as much out of every single hit. Wes He's has been losing winning the Chad matchup. Yeah, yeah, precisely. Beautifully said. Poetic, in fact. Thank you. Um, so going into this next game, I really would have honestly liked to see the Tesca like opening off because I've, there it is. I've and there it is. Yeah, we're gonna see yeah. the switch off now. I think that is going to be uh, in Wes's favor now, just because he was so comfortable with Boots. Well, we haven't seen Boots versus kind of yet, so we can't say for sure whether. I definitely okay. Yes, what, what you're saying is that is there's a more there's a better chance that Wes can win now that he's off of the axe ditto because kind of has shown that he's just the best at axe in South America right now. Don't even try to contest him. If you do, you will get uh, you will get stared five times. Uh, yeah, let's see how it works out. And already much better like opening just by virtue of getting that initial hit. Looking for some sort of a jump call out with the recovery. Did not find it. Just playing neutral here and just really respecting Kaina's space. Now, look how much space Wes is uh, giving these approaches, and it's still not enough, seemingly. Yeah, I, I haven't watched Axe versus Boots at this level, but I wonder if... I wonder if Boots have the same struggle against Axe that Lance does, in my opinion. Which is just that because all of your attacks move you along with the attack that you, you can't just, really drift back. It's like you, everything is a commitment. You just fall into Axe neutral light and down light mm. over and over again. Oh, kind of have three dares. Oh, oh that's disgusting. Wes right now able to get the side light into the neutral light. Wanted to go for the signature as well to potentially catch a jump. Kind of did not fall for it, though. Dashing out there with the neutral light did not find it. Uh, and Wes right now is just... 
Again, Quest is looking for an opening. Quest finds an opening and then commits to the signature so oh, early and oh, kind of punishes it. Three nares in a row off of all of that, kind of reacting so well to Wes's aerial drift. And just like that, Downlight sends the gauntlets out of his hands. Down to covers that weapon spawn. What on earth is kind of, kind of so good. Yeah, Kaida is up 3-1 to one at the moment. Kaida is dominating neutral. Wes has not been able to find clean hits, at least not easily. We might see the Red Raptor for Game 3. I mean, at this, point, at this point, it probably would do better. I don't know what to say, Dara. This is... How is Kaida this much better than everybody? How is catching this many jumps is my question. Like, every time that Lanaire. I see, like, a jump come out, like, I see the immediate, like, dash in uh, punish. I have no idea. The, 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 the downlights are doing great as anti-airs, and then Kaida's doing these, like... He, taking full advantage of the max distance that he gets oh, with his no. jump, and then delaying the nair just as his opponent is trying to fast fall for the landing, and he gets three more nairs of damage worth uh, on his opponents than anybody else does that plays the weapon. He's it's playing so well. kind of always like this. this every is, other tournament. Yeah, every other tournament. Wow. Let's stick <laughs> losing his mind <laughs> to that one. Um, yeah, I mean, kind of was number one in South America dominantly for a while. And I think that those power rankings change because he's just not able to travel to all of the lands mm -hmm. that, that Yuz and Loras can. Um, but online, yeah, he's just kind of always like this. Uh, it was never this good before. What I'm, like, so lost, like, myself on, like, what Wes could be doing, like, a little bit differently because it seems like every single time that at mid-range, Wes jumps, kind of has a delight to be able to call it out. You fight WWE with WWE. Macho Man being locked in here to go up against Roman Reigns. That's what he needed to do, Dara. The... I don't know. It's the act ditto again. You know, actually, the Lance. Maybe that's going to help. It does give you, like, a better boost range in the way, right? You definitely able don't, to come in with down You definitely don't want to lock in Thea against Terrors, mm. right? Because three defense against oh, A4. Oh, yeah, you, really... don't, you, you are just going to end up exploding. Okay, I yeah. understand this pick a little bit more now. Um, and he wants the Lance, and I guess this is this is what West plays in doubles. Um Ooh, oh. wanted to go for the downer after the side. He was not so lucky to find it. And just looking for this next opening kill. But, oh, oh kind of what a catch. The neutral stick coming through. R R Lance recovery just barely giving Wes a chance to get back on stage. Stop there, put off stage. Falling scoop into the stage. Why not? Stop Sider would definitely close it out. Let's see if we can get that landing. Okay, just sort of dashing in place here. Okay, able to start, uh, start up a little bit of a juggle. And catch kind of actually going behind him. Wes with a lead. With a lead for the first time in the set. Gets that slide charge down. Sig sends him flying off the left side of the stage. This is looking good. Uh, even if he doesn't get any extra credit here, it's still looking better than every game that we've seen so far. Yeah, Wes is not pressing immediately anymore. He goes through the neutral light, the dash in D light as well. Wes is dealing damage, and that is exactly the place that you want to be in right now, and is actually getting in against Kaina. Neutral light comes out, sets up the edge guard. What's the choice from Kaina? Just goes through the dash off D light. Oh, yeah, Kaina's movement looking a little sticky at the moment. Uh, didn't get the right drift in the Sarah there, but the neutral light will clean it up. Mm -hmm. uh, took a little bit of damage, but nothing to scoff at. And he, I think he primed an, a, a hammer, so let's see. Uh, weapon spawn comes in for Wes. Axe picked up. It's now Axe versus Hammer. Ooh, and again, kind of just so effective on catching all these landings. But Wes going out a D-Light of his own, able just to get a couple of hits here. This is a pretty good position to be in. You don't want to go out too far off stage lest you get reversed by a recovery. Oh, recovery bouncing west of the stage, but Wes manages to hold on. Stops Counting there. the wrong direction, maybe just wanting to call out a dash in? Yeah, par perhaps. Another stops there. Edge guard falling with a down air here seems to be his favorite thing to do right now. Dash jump pivot there. Oh, good patience. Yeah, barely avoiding that stomp, but ugh, hitting from behind. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, he dash pivoted the down sig so that he got the back swing to knock out because Wes reacted to the down sig mm -hmm. with a spot dodge. But because that move has two parts, he ends up getting hit by the end of his spot dodge and gets sent off the left yeah, side of the stage. Yeah, he gets hit by that later back hitbox and ends up calling it out. That was what Kaina was cooking all along. And now Wes is on potentially this tournament stock. You have so, so much on the line here. You don't want to go out now, not like this. Axe in hand, Kaina tries to use the weapon toss as a way of getting in there. Neutral light comes out. It does not KO. How do you do it? Oh, uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, West manages to make it back. That's two down stick knockouts now. That was so fast. Yeah, it was. Uh, he, I think he, he definitely dash landed back onto the stage to be able to get that down stick and then slid, slid a little bit to center stage because I thought kind of had a, a plenty of distance mm -hmm. away from that. But kind of 
Returning with a ton of damage on the axe here. Brings West immediately in the orange. Ooh, okay, just barely avoiding the anti and now kind of just such a good dodge. Avoided that Sig, but what do you do after? How do you get back down? How do you oh. start getting hits in? Oh, no. So many hits are going to be able to do here. Kaina's one hit away. It's Stops so there. That's it. And Kaina is your 2023 South America Summer Champion. Taking down West. 3-0. Taking down everybody 3-0. I don't think dropped a game, let alone a set. That was an incredibly dominant run from Kaina. I have no clue. I, I don't know what to say other than kind of just beat everybody. Kind of 